Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Amnesia Rebirth. So, we're somehow in Wonderland again. I don't know how we got here. Uh, but at the same time, it doesn't seem the most stable. Not the most stable Wonderland. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a fetus. <laughs> There's a fetus in the background. Okay. You know, not gonna lie. Wonderland is a bit more disturbing than I remember since I watched the Disney movie. Not gonna lie. Is that Alice? Hi, Alice. Uh, I don't know how to get to you. Mama's a little preoccupied at the moment, trying to figure out how to get over to you, because she can't jump. Um, how do I forward? Can I not forward? Oh. Hey, look at that. There's another path back here. Who to thunk? Was that there before and I was just being oblivious? Probably. Okay. Does this lead to Alice, though? I don't want to leave her by her lonesome. Yeah. Hi, Alice. What you doing? You playing with Maka? Playing with your blocks? What's so funny? You got the giggles? Why you got the giggles? What are you doing, little one? One and one. <laughs> yes, but what is one and one? And that's a toughie. What is this weird effect? Alice? Alice can't play. Alice can't play. Oh, why not? Alice is gone. Don't worry, Mama. I'm here. Um, okay. So wait, who are you then if you're not Alice? And why are you in content aware scale? Are you the fetus? Oh, is the fetus talking to us through our memories? Ooh. Our entire world is falling apart. The entire world is crumbling around us. Uh, can I go anywhere? Am I supposed to go anywhere? Or are we just gonna hang out here? And stare at the giant- the giant fetus! That continues to be giant. That continues to grow. Oh, that giant fetus is gonna have some giant fetuses. Okay. Oh, Alice. 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 Salim. Salim, quickly. What happened? I mean, just given past conversations, I think it's safe to assume that Alice is no longer with us. But what happened to her? I hope we get to know. I hope we're gonna find out. Okay. That was freaky. You okay, Tazi? Where are we now? Whoa. Big belly. No. No, 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 no. You're so much bigger. This can't be real. Wake up. Wake up, Tazi. Oh, God. Oh, God, Mother Mary. What am I going to do? I think this one is a little out of her jurisdiction. Although she did do the whole immaculate conception thing, I guess, so. Come on. Pull yourself together. Where are we? <laughs> Good question. I have no idea. Seems like we're back in reality. We just got control of gravity. Okay. Oh, okay. Is that a person? Or is that a statue? I probably don't want to know. I probably don't want to find out. Okay. How did we get here? That's the thing. I don't understand how we keep getting to these places. Alright. So how do we get bigger? We're so much bigger now. How? I can't believe this. What if I get even bigger? Is that a possibility? Too many dark corners. I'll try to hold on, but this will be difficult, little one. How much bigger can you get? I don't know anything about pregnancy, but like, I feel like that's pretty big. I think you're just about to pop, so you know, you gotta be like what, eight or nine months? <sighs> Shit! I'm, I'm so heavy. Yeah. It feels like six months. More. Six? Oh, God. This oh. is six? It better be more. We look like we're about to pop. Oh my God, our belly is already so round. I mean, I guess six is already pretty close to nine months, but still. That's insane. You know, if we get any bigger, we're not going to be able to see our feet. We can barely see our feet now. Jeez Louise. Okay. How many months were you before? I'm trying to remember. Because we were pregnant before the trip, but then the baby had a growth spurt. 
I can't remember how old she said the baby was at that point. I want to say like three or four months, maybe five. I don't know, either way. This kid certainly, you know, is all or nothing. It's either grow all at once or don't grow at all, apparently. It can't have been like another couple months, right? That we were knocked out for? I hope not. Like I can't tell if time is passing or if uh, the baby is just going through some like really big growth spurts because we have some sort of like super baby. No, not that. I mean, you know, maybe as a plan B, we can rub it and hope a genie comes out and grants us three wishes. But in the meantime, I guess we'll go ahead and head this way. Can we even lift this? Oh, that's heavy. Yeah, I'm sure. Don't strain yourself too much. I'll try not to give you too much work. This isn't a dream. This really isn't a dream. Yeah, no, never really felt like one, not gonna lie. Don't know about you, but this always kind of felt like a nightmare to me. Okay. But we'll make it out of this. One way or another. Okay. Uh, so where do we go first? Actually, is there anything around here that I can light? I see some torches. There we go. I don't know why it didn't occur to me until now to start lighting stuff. I forgot, that's the whole point of matches, is to light stuff. Okay. Oh, we got some light leaking in. Hopefully that's the only thing leaking in and there's not any monsters in here. Wouldn't surprise me if one just pops out from behind a corner and goes boogity boo or smashes through this. Looks like that might be a possibility. Maybe that's our way out. Okay, I do want to see what's going on over here. I know it's dark and spooky. It's okay. Okay. I know. Good effort. Doing your best, mama. I'm proud of you. This cannot be easy. Can we throw it? Nope. Okay, do not try to throw. Understood. Only pull. No push. Unless it's the baby. Unless we're pushing out the baby. And, uh, is that the way out? Maybe. Hopefully. It looks promising. We just gotta find a way to it. <laughs> that's the part that's a little less promising. Because I have no idea how we're supposed to go about that. Oops. Okay. Sorry. My bad. I just wanted to see if there were matches, but I'm just gonna assume that there's not. Okay. You'll have to forgive me. I'm a bit bigger than I'm used to. Okay. It's a lot to adjust to all at once. There we go. There we go. Okay. So what exactly is this? Is this going to be like someone's tomb or something? We're going to get a thousand years of bad luck? Okay. We'll deal with the thousand years of bad luck as soon as we get out of here. You'll just have to forgive us, whoever's in here. Yeah. It's an added challenge, that's for sure. Okay. If there's any spirits in here upset that we just broke into their tomb. No, I'm out of oil. How? I was about to say, I had two things of oil. Don't you lie to me. <laughs> Don't you lie to me, game. Making me think there's no oil. But if, you know, this is like a cursed tomb or something. Look, it was not my first option. It was not my preferred option, especially now that I see that. Which makes me think there's going to be monsters down here. And no matches, apparently. What's up, baby? Shh. Shh, my love. <laughs> it's going to be okay. We'll get you out of here. By getting ourselves out of here. But I feel like there might be monsters nearby. Because this place is giving me the spooks. Also, there's a whole bunch of nasty gunk around. Can we make our escape through here? Maybe. What's back here? Is there anything back here? No? Then what's the point of it? What's the point of this being here? Is it in case we need to hide? It's the only logical reason I can think of for the rifts being there. You know? Why some of these hidey holes are around. There we go. Is in case we need to hide. I hear someone whispering in my ear and I don't appreciate it. Ew. Gross. Okay. This place is definitely haunted. This place is definitely spooked. It's definitely spooks for days. Is this how we get out? Definitely not. Okay, so what is the point of that? Why are they here? Why are these random spots here? I guess, you know, they are rifts. They don't really get a say in where they are or how big they are or how useful they are. But still, from like a game perspective, why are they there? You know, like story-wise, I get it. Game-wise, I don't quite understand if there's a purpose to them. Or if they're just there for the sake of being there. Oh, that smell. Like, uh, 
Like back in the laboratory. It's getting stronger. Yeah. The laboratory on the alien planet? Where the flesh was? The living flesh? Are we gonna have to deal with the flesh again? Probably. Okay, can I at least find some matches before we do that? I'm a simple woman with simple needs. I just need some matches. Apparently not. Okay, fine. An escape route works too. Oh, good. Oh, good, we're back here. Okay. Joyous day, Kalu Kale. Eh, let me go this way first. See if there's anything hiding over here. I could run, but I also don't want to. <laughs> For Tazi's sake, that can't be easy. Running with a big old belly. A belly full of baby. Okay. Yeah, nothing. Okay. So clearly we're meant to go this way. That was much louder than the first time around. Oh god. Uh, I know what that means. I know what red light means. Red light means go. You wouldn't think so, but that definitely means move it. Okay. Are we good? No, definitely not. Okay. You can have that corner. Just let us get out of here before you claim any more of this place. Okay. Can I even see what's going on? I can't see a god dang thing. Like usually with the match. Oh god dang it, what did I just, ow, what did I just say, ow? I can't see where I'm going, ow. Okay, it's hard to see what's on the ground when you put the red blurry thing right on the, you know, bottom of the screen. We've already been this way. This is how we came in. I got all turned around, I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, I can't see where the, the gunk is because the red flashes at the bottom of the screen it makes it difficult to see where the, you know, the red flesh is. Okay. Uh, so how? Is some of this okay to walk on? Okay, we can jump over it. I was about to say, this seems like a little bit of a trap. <laughs> it's like the floor is lava, but much more deadly. Okay, <laughs> not as fun for kids. But yeah, ah, I don't know what we're allowed to touch and what we're not allowed to touch when it comes to the red flesh. Aha, uh -huh. the ladder. Okay, we made our way around. Hallelujah. Okay, is there any? Oh, of course. Oh, of course, it's not going to be that simple. I will take the matches though. Thank you. And that's what I was looking for before we made our great escape. Okay, before we climbed the stairway to heaven, or maybe even more hell. Who knows? That'd be a twist. You know, you get told all your life that there's a stairway to heaven and then you head up and it's like, welcome to hell. It's like, what? And it's like, yeah, they kind of got the directions wrong somehow. There was a mistranslation. Little one. How did we get to this? Um, and how did you grow so fast? I hope you're all right. I hope they're all right too. I'm sure they're doing fine. You know, they're growing like weeds. When we finally have this baby, they're going to be tall enough to be an NBA star, you know? They can try out for the big leagues. Okay, or at least it feels that way, you know? They just grow a, a few months at a time all at once. That'd be crazy if that's how humans actually work. I guess that is kind of how humans work, you know? Like when you're younger, you just constantly grow. At least most people, that's the case. Can't say that was the case for me, but I'm not bitter. Is there something back here we can investigate? There is. What's going on back here? Absolutely nothing, you say? Fooey, I say. What is the point of this? What is the point of you? I must know. I does this have to know. What is the point of those things? Those little, like, hidey corners, the little hidey holes. Like, I could understand if there was, like, a monster around, you know? There's a, is that a glitch? There's a texture glitch there. But still, you know, like, even if we could use those little, like, alcoves as, like, hidey holes when a monster is around, I'm pretty sure they would notice it, right? Because it makes so much noise and so much light, you know, it just constantly whirs at us. I'm sure the monsters would find it worrying. Anyways, what's going on over here? I think my lantern's out of oil. That's definitely going on. Not a fan of that going on. Are you out of oil? It's hard to tell with all the lights shimmering in my face. Yeah, you're out of oil. And I'm out of oil! No! I thought I had one more. God dang it. Alright, it's fine. We can use matches sparingly. I was trying to stay out of the darkness as much as possible. But that doesn't seem to be a possibility anymore. Uh oh, whoops. Well, it would have been nice to know that the red flesh was waiting for us on the other side before I tried to open the door. Would have been nice if you guys gave me an indicator beforehand, but I guess that would have ruined the surprise party. Okay, here we go. Time to run. Are we just gunning it? 
Are you just running for it? I guess so. I certainly don't want to stick around to find out. I don't want to find out the alternative. Are we going down this way? Yes. Okay. Wow. Ow. That stuff really does not want to leave any sort of ow indicator it was here. It leaves no trails behind. Okay. No trail of its existence whatsoever. It just destroys everything in its path. It's okay. It's okay. Luckily, we have a very clearly laid out path here that's telling us where to go. Oh, then again, maybe not. Oh, big push, big push, big push. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I can't see where I'm going. I can't go this way. I still can't see where I'm going. Ow, ow. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know where to go. Oh, oh no. Sorry. Sorry for your ankles. Was that supposed to happen? I feel like that wasn't supposed to happen. Sorry, Tazi. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Whoa, <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. Okay, it's like one of those dangly roller coasters. Is the red flesh carrying us back? At least we're getting new flashing images, that's fun. Hopefully it'll help us piece things together a bit more. You okay, Tazi? We're okay. I wonder if that does have like an effect on the story. Like how many times you accidentally die or almost die. I wonder if that affects the story at all. Okay. Well, we're here now, somehow. I guess the red flesh carried us here. Thanks, I guess. I'm assuming this is where we need to be, or at least I hope so. Yeah, check in on the baby. Hopefully that'll help us calm down. Okay. Oh good, one of these doors. I wonder what's on the other side. Probably something alien. You know, probably something obscure. No. What happened, Alice? Did you fall down? Did you have a big scare? It did seem like a very scary moment. I'm still trying to piece together the story just based off the little like cutscenes they give us in between each section. But it seems like Alice was like eating or something, and maybe she fell over and fainted. And now they're taking her to the doctor. I wonder if it's like, I don't know. I wonder what it is. I wonder what happened. If it's some sort of illness or something. Okay. <sighs> oh, Christ. Yes, baby. We need to get out of here soon. That was say no comment. Okay. We'll comment the obvious then. All right. Well, this looks like a fun place to hang out. Uh, but sadly, we'll have to wait until the next episode to hang out because I'm going to leave this episode here, you know? I kind of like trying to break these into different sections um, so that way the episodes don't get too long. And since this looks like a new area, it probably feels best to leave this episode here. And uh, I guess in the next episode, we'll go ahead and figure out what the heck we're doing. But uh, that is going to be it for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!